Hey guys, Steph here. Does it take one year to become a coder? So somebody sent me an email, apparently some code camps out there or code training uh, services, if you will, I'm not gonna name names, claim they have programs where within one year you can become a coder. You can become a coder making money within a few months if you're taught properly, if you learn the right things. See, a big thing about being a coder is actually writing real code. And that means getting out there in the real world and building projects for actual clients. That's a, that has a huge impact in terms of the learning curve because when you are in a situation where you're actually working with real clients, it forces you to really get in there and to develop your skills to develop your chops. This is an opinion based on my own personal experience. So let me go way back into the 90s where I was uh, learning to code. So I learned how to build websites in 1994 and I learned my first programming language, I think in 96 or 95, I forget now. Anyway, a long time ago. And uh, so how did I become a real developer? I didn't sit there for a year in my uh, apartment, in my home, and uh, wrote projects and sort of tinkered around and so forth. No, 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 no. What I did actually, and I guess this is partly because I'm an entrepreneur by nature, so what I did was actually get a job. Not a job working for somebody full time, but a job in terms of like a gig, uh, doing some projects. So the first were web projects. So when I was doing my first paid coding job was web design for a legal firm and uh, I was fortunate though where they approached me because in those days if you knew HTML you were like a god right it was, it was 94 but to be able to do that I had to have a certain base level of skill and that's the trick to it all by the way and that's how and why I designed my system studio web to be in a certain way so let's fast forward when I got my first programming job where I was actually writing code that, you know, was programming, an app, oh, I forget what year it was. I think I got paid to do my first one in 97. And it was a, a web app. And again, it was the same type of situation where I hadn't really done much web app building. I just knew the basics of the languages, had done a few things here and there. And then I went out and I got a gig, I got a project, which forced me to really dive deep into uh, the code. To uh, finalize this video, you don't need a year of schooling to become a professional developer. In fact, you can, and I would encourage you to learn the basic languages. So let me give you an idea. Let's say you're doing web development. You have to learn uh, HTML and CSS for sure, some JavaScript, and some jQuery from there and that those three right there you can get this done in about a couple months where you're competent you're not great you, I'm not saying you're gonna be great I'm just like just your ability to actually execute on some stuff uh, and then at this point you have to decide which branch you want to get into in terms of the type of coding you want to do within the web app framework if you want to get into Ruby then you got to go root you got to learn Ruby and you're gonna learn basic rails, and then you could jump into it. I would recommend that. I would recommend, especially if you wanna do it, this hyper accelerated rate of getting professional level skills, I would recommend PHP. Not because I think PHP is necessarily the best language out there, just because there's so many opportunities for entry level coders in the PHP world, because the demand is massive. Another option maybe would be to do some Python work or maybe to do some light scripting or light coding within WordPress perhaps. But the point is you can get into coding and development and programming within a few months if you first take the time just to learn the key languages. So if you're doing the web stack, I would do, you have to do HTML, your CSS, bit of JavaScript, bit of jQuery, then you have to choose what server-side programming language you want to do. Server-side meaning code that runs on the server. That could be Ruby with Ruby and Rails, it could be PHP, it could be uh, with Laravel, a full framework, or it could be 
just installing, configuring WordPress, becoming a WordPress professional, understanding your basics of PHP. It could be Python. It could be Python. Then you get into a Python framework like Django. You get the idea. Or maybe you don't want to do the web. Maybe you want to go into um, uh, iOS development. Maybe you want to get into uh, Android development. Then, again, those are the type of things where you, you learn the basics of the language. So iOS, I would recommend Swift. And then uh, you jump in there and you look to get yourself a basic Swift job or Swift gig, entry level. You're not going to make nearly as much as you will once you get experience, but that really gets you into the game so you can be paid as you learn. So this whole idea that you have to spend a year in training is no silliness. I think that something I learned from my actual martial arts and my boxing days. Uh, once you have the basics down, let's say boxing for instance, once you have just the basics down and you're far from knowing everything and you're far from being very good at anything in boxing, but once you've done the first like, uh, I would say a week, maybe two weeks personally, max, get in the ring and start sparring. It's going to be painful at first with boxing, but you find that you, you develop your skill set so much quicker. So no, you don't need a year of training to be able to get a job in the web development. I, I say it's the opposite. It's more like uh, coding and programming is more like a trade where you spend a few months getting your basics and doing little mini projects in a basic course. And then you, you jump right into the real world doing basic projects, getting paid little, and you're gonna learn 10 times faster than somebody who spent a whole year or two learning to be a developer in a school situation. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.